the way I understand it, it it is a known disease. It's a known disease, and the COVID, uh, the the uh, the it, it's been out there for quite some time. But this particular strand of it, they don't have no earthly idea towards how to control it or what to do with it. Well, you know how you get the flu. You can have like the old saying is, you can have walking pneumonia and not know it. Right. Okay. This is it's been out there. In my opinion. Well. But Yeah. yeah. And it goes to the lungs. It's like a severe case of pneumonia and the flu, both combined. That's bad. Now, I know how it feels up here, but I've had that. What did you say it was, Carrie Lee? Like a severe case of the pneumonia and the flu at the same time? The flu at the same time. We know the flu. We know the flu of Kiggy. Pneumonia will kill you. The flu will kill you. Yes. You, get a, you get both of them together, that's a double plan. That will really, now there's, that will really put you Now up. there's another strand. That's attacking children. But they're breaking out in rashes. Yeah, no. You know, when you run around for like seven or ten days, ten days, two weeks, they're claiming people to be around somebody with it early in the morning, and by the next day, the end of the day, they're sick with it, they're about to die. That's how fast it's catching. That aggressive? Yeah, they, that's what they say. They say just a matter of hours. It's, it's bad. But I've seen the girl, a young ENT girl on the TV back a couple months ago. Yeah. She said everybody is not passing because of this virus. They're having heart attacks, stroke. Well, if you think about it, wasn't we already a sick nation before this ever hit? Well, yeah. well all the Ill illnesses, yeah. Including my own of me being diabetic. Myself. Uh, people that have a lot of uh, health issues. Right. Uh, we're we're a high risk. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're and a high risk. Corbin virus has come out. Oh yeah. That's out in the open. Right. But the reason why that I wanted to stop here, Carrie Lee, is because the way it looks, it looks like it's going to be later on in the fall before we're going to be able to memorialize Johnny's death. Supposed to be harder on the black race and the Mexican race too, isn't it? The Latino race. I seen that too. That's sad, isn't it? I know. Yeah. You see where they show these babies? Navajo. Oh, they said 40% of the Navajo over people there in that the Navajo country. reservation don't even have running water. Into a I know. That's sad. Their, uh, their colors. Yeah. On that TV show where they are got like the flu and the mothers are crying. Yeah. That's a link to it. Well, I'm telling y'all right now, they listen to me carefully. Water. Listen to me carefully. Since this is hit... It is changing people in their demeanor. It's changing people the way that they just, you know, just like us talking to one another right now. We're 25 feet apart. Um, I mean, it's it's really changing the way people approach other people now. It'll never be normal. Yeah, and I'll tell you something else, too. Probably not in our lifetime. Probably not in our lifetime it won't be. I know. That's sad. Yeah. It's bad because there's a great depression. A lot of people had to milk cows and chickens or big gardens to kill a hog. People don't have any of that. I think Thefri's going to go on the rise myself. 
Theft-free home invasions. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah. Yeah. If people think that you got anything worth anything, yeah. they're liable to come after it. Yeah. And he slept it with it under the pillow loaded. That's right before he had the blind. What it is, Mama Lucy, Grandpa, this was when Daddy was a baby. Betty, Betty is, is little and, and Uncle Bill was a baby. Grandpa said they haven't got anything, but he said somebody could break in and hurt them or kill them and ransack the house and they'll not get anything. Okay, one more other thing I want to verify, Carrie Lee, before I leave. I just got through talking to Uncle Bill about maybe four or five days ago. It was over the weekend. Yeah. I wanted to go up there and holler at him before this weekend because I don't want to be up there with all the crazies. According to Uncle Bill, that is not Mama Lucy's father that's buried up here in the cemetery in front of her pertaining to a James. I think he's getting old, and I think he messed up right there. He's forgotten. I yeah. think so, how too. Is he, how is Uncle Bill now? Oh, he's 88. Soon to be 88. Yeah, really? Yeah, he would be. Because he was born in, what, 30 or 31? He was born in 33. Oh, well, there you go. That's 87 or 88. Yeah, he's, he's going to be 88 within a month from now. Yeah. But But that is Mama Lucy's father that's buried in front of him right beside the ring. But but it's also Mama Lucy's husband that's buried over to the right hand side of her because he wound up passing away, I think, at the age of fifty six, and Mama Lucy wound up dying what at the age of ninety? Yeah. Or ninety two or something like that. Yeah, grandpa died in that house that Mama Lucy was in uh, when we were growing up. So in other words, she's buried by Jack. He, 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 right. Dr. Jack, Dr. Jack would come out there and give him painkillers. Yeah. Grandpa didn't have any insurance. He passed through the house. Yeah. That's another thing, too, Grandpa. Uh, Daddy always said, Mom, Lucy, they couldn't find out what was wrong with him. They finally got a diagnosis. Only he had lived for just a few weeks, and that was it. Well, have you ever thought any more about where Mama Lucy's biological mother could possibly be buried at? Do you think maybe, didn't they live up there in Union City whenever she was a little girl? Uh, is it, yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's right. Is it possible that she's buried in one of those uh, cemeteries up there in Union City somewhere, Carrie Lee? I don't know. All I remember is, Mom Lucy told me her mother's name was Dovey Millett. D-O-V-E-Y-M-O-L-L-E-T-T-E. That's all I know. Millett? What was her last name? Millette. Millette. That was her maiden name. That was her maiden name. Yeah. But she had married to, to a James. John James, yeah. John James. Yeah. Then, then Mama Lucy died in 1930. So, so her name would actually be Dovey James. Yeah, Dovey James. Dovey Millette James. Was it Bud James that had the restaurant between here and Relaford? Yeah, he was the baby of the bus. He was the youngest one. He was. No, that was John Wayne. That was Bud James' oldest son. That's right. That was John Wayne. He's not alive anymore. He's not. No. Uh, he died here a few Carrie, I don't know what we're going to do about Johnny. No, I don't either. When's the last time you seen your brother, Carrie? I mean, uh, Shane. Uh, here a few, few nights ago. 
Yeah. Is he still looking all right? He's probably making money hand over fist right now with all the hell damage around, isn't he? Well, he might be. I don't know. He spends a lot of time down at Diesburg, don't he? Carrie Lee, a steak's going to wind up costing us $50 in a restaurant. Yeah, it will. Huh? Yeah, I think eggs are about, what, $3 a dozen in the store now? So, yeah. But even a common hamburger is going to get to where it's going to cost you an arm and a leg. Yeah, if you can get it. They say there's going to be a shortage of beef now, too. You know, kind of the cows are all being put to sleep. And... Why are they putting the cows to sleep, Carrie Lee? It's upset the apple cart, hadn't it? It sure has. Everything imaginable. Everything. Yeah. From restaurant workers to farmers. truck drivers not being able to get loads to farmers. farmers. Yeah. yeah, it has. It, yeah. It's really upset the apple cart. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, it's to get on All right. Good talking to you, Carrie. I'm glad you hadn't wound up get, catching that virus. You put a mask on? Do you? I, I imagine your brother, Shane, he's terrified of all this, isn't he? Yeah, way before this ever hit, huh? I bet he's terrified about it, huh? Well, whenever you see all them people dying like that, you know what? Yeah. See, there again, that's like in 1918. I've heard stories about husbands and wives wouldn't sleep together. Women wouldn't kiss their children or their babies good night at night. I mean, they, they were literally terrified to death of each other. Yeah, they was terrified to death of each other. Yeah. yeah. I hope it don't get that bad, huh? Yeah. It killed, I think it was over 600,000, I heard. Here, yeah, here in the States, I think it killed 5 million. 55 million people down here in the States, it killed 5 million. Here really? But back then. Wow. You're talking, you're talking about back then. Today, that's what, that'd probably be about like 200 million getting it. Good grief. All right, I got to go. Yep, you too, man.